Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I hope everyone is having a happy crochet or knitting day. Well, happy 4th of July weekend. I hope everyone is staying safe and having fun out there. Now, I'm here in central Pennsylvania and we have been getting rain and more rain in the forecast. So I thought I'm just going to enjoy the day, stay home, relax, do a little bit of crocheting. But this video, I want to talk about a project that my daughter put together for me. It's our very first digital book called A Year in Crochet. And she did a fantastic job. I want to talk a little bit about the book she put together for me. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm over at my computer and I'm on the first page of A Year of Crochet with Creative Grandma. Now the concept of this book was to take some of my Stitch of the Week patterns and coordinate it with my actual patterns. Now it is a total of 141 pages. So let me tell you what's in our first digital book. It's going to have 52 Stitch of the Week patterns, one pattern for each week of the year. It's also going to have 12 monthly projects where the projects are geared towards one of the Stitch of the Week patterns. It also has eight bonus holiday patterns. So let's take a look. You're going to see the table of contents where it's going to list all the patterns in the book. It's going to list the eight bonus holiday patterns which are geared towards the holidays of those months. And then we include 52 Stitch of the Week patterns. Now remember, all these Stitch of the Week patterns, I do have crochet tutorials for. So you can take the instructions here in the book and follow along with the video. It's a great way to learn how to read instructions. And then here's some more of the Stitch of the Week that's in the book. The first pattern in the book will be the Country Treasures Afghan. Now February's project is the Big Boy Pot Holder and you'll see special notes that say see the Easy Suzette Thicket Stitch and that is one of the Stitch of the Week. So this pattern coordinates with that stitch pattern. Then she included a holiday bonus pattern for the Valentine's Day Heart Dishcloth perfect pattern for February. Now March's pattern is the crocheted cable headband and again you can see special notes where it tells you to see the easy braids and cable stitch and that is the stitch we use to make this project. Then we have a holiday bonus pattern and this is for the St. Patrick's Day four leaf clover dishcloth. Just a fun way to celebrate the holidays. April's pattern is the No Fuss Dishcloth. And again, you'll see the special notes where it says, See the No Fuss Stitch. And that is included in the book of the Stitch of the Week patterns. Then you're going to see another bonus holiday pattern. And this is for Easter. It's the Bunny Baskets. So just a fun project to celebrate Easter. May's project in the book is the Mosaic Magic Afghan. And again, special note, see the Mosaic Granny Square. And it's just a fun pattern. You can color control. You, you can get all kinds of effects with this pattern when you make this afghan. Just a stunning blanket. June's pattern is the Granny's Ombre Afghan. And it tells you which stitch pattern was used, the interlace granny stitch. So just another fun, easy project in this digital book. July's project is the Holiday Kitchen Set, and this was made using the Grandma's Two Stitch. And you can see it has those beautiful red, white, and blue colors for the 4th of July. But when you're making this pattern, you can use whichever colors you prefer. Maybe you prefer a solid color. You can use your own imagination when you're making up these patterns. The bonus pattern is 4th of July Star Coasters. So with 4th of July, just a couple days away, you can still have time to make these coasters. And they would also be good at Christmas time, making them in red, white, and green. The next pattern in the digital book is the August pattern for the Rainbow Feathers and Fan Baby Afghan. And again, this pattern was made using the Feathers and Fan Stitch. 
The September pattern is the Southwestern Lap Gan, and this pattern was made using the raised shell stitch, and that is also included in this book. And then we have a bonus holiday pattern for Labor Day. This is called Star Struck. Now this pattern again is in red, white, and blue. The October pattern is the Cancer Awareness Pocket Shawl. And this pattern uses the tulip stitch. And all the stitches that are highlighted are in this digital book. So you can go to the tulip stitch if you like this pattern and you can use that stitch of the week to create anything from dishcloths to blankets to sweaters whatever you want to use the stitch pattern for this is a great pattern to bring cancer awareness for October or any time of year. Then we have a bonus pattern for Halloween. It's the witch's table leg cover. So if you like to decorate for the holidays, you can make this witch's leg and put on the bottom of your table legs. Isn't that a great idea? The November pattern is the Flaming Floral Afghan. This pattern uses the Tunisian Simple Stitch, and then you cross-stitch the design on top. Now, I want to remind everyone, when you're seeing these patterns, a pattern like this, when you use a graft, you can always crochet the pattern right into the pattern if you don't want to cross-stitch it onto the top of the panels. Then we have a bonus holiday pattern number seven, the Thanksgiving pumpkin toilet paper cover. So if you like to hide that spare roll of toilet paper by a beautiful crochet project, what better way to decorate for the fall season than with a pumpkin toilet paper cover? Our bathrooms are always the last place people think to decorate. So this is just a cute idea to hide that spare toilet paper roll. December's pattern is the Holiday Baby Afghan. This afghan was made using the super easy ripple stitch. And then we have the bonus holiday pattern number eight for Christmas, and that is the Christmas Twist Afghan. It's just a wonderful motif pattern. It's a great take-along project. Just make them in your favorite colors. Now, you can change the colors. It doesn't have to be geared towards Christmas. You can change it and use whichever colors you prefer. And that is our bonus pattern for Christmas. And the rest of the book is going to be the year of stitches, which include 52 different Stitch of the Week patterns. So again, this was a review of the brand new digital book that my daughter put together for me called A Year in Crochet, and it includes 52 Stitch of the Week patterns. 12 monthly projects, and eight bonus holiday patterns. So here again is a list of those 12 patterns that I just showed you, a list of the eight bonus holiday patterns, and just these two pages of patterns alone. These 20 different patterns have a retail value of $34.84. And today's special price for the 4th of July holiday is only $14.95. That's a savings of $19.89 if you purchase these patterns separately. I'll have a link in the description box underneath the video. It will take you right to our website if you're interested in purchasing our first new, brand new digital book or magazine. I want to thank my daughter, Laurie, for all her hard work in putting this together. It was just a great concept and we just wanted to give you some inspiration and also give you a larger discount on the purchase of the patterns when you purchase them in a bundle like this. So give me your thoughts of what you think of our digital book. It's something we're considering doing more of. So give me your thoughts of what you might like to see in digital format. So thank you everybody and until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.